These students of yours have agreed to battle on the platform, and they've already injured five of my students. Today's competition must continue, regardless of your decision, unless you admit defeat and acknowledge that your students are inferior to mine. Upon hearing the words, admit defeat, Zhen Yang clenched his teeth in anger. Of course, this was something he couldn't accept. Admit defeat. Dream on. Zheng Yang remained resolute. Even if I have to lay down my life here today, I will let my teacher admit defeat. However, Zheng Zhuan remained remarkably calm, speaking with a smile. Step aside, I won't admit defeat. This further enraged Zhu Tian. Hemph, if that's the case, then let's continue. I hope teacher Zhang steps back. This is a competition among students, and a teacher like us shouldn't interfere. It's like bullying the weak with the strong. Don't rush, I won't admit defeat, nor will I say we'll continue on the battle platform. Zhou Tian questioned in confusion. Not continue. Once the battle on the platform has begun, there's no stopping. It's too late for regrets now. Zhang Chuan replied, The decision of the students is my decision. If they've challenged on the battle platform, then I have no regrets. However, I find it rather uninteresting to only engage in minor battles on the platform. Why not have a direct teacher-student battle? I wonder if you agree. This statement from the teacher left Zhen Yang momentarily stunned, and the students below were abuzz with discussion. What? Teacher-student battle? Is this guy crazy? Is there something wrong with his head? A teacher-student battle is when students challenge teachers. We saw his students earlier. Winning on the battle platform is tough enough let alone challenging a teacher-student battle. Dream on. This decision of Zhang Zhuan's left Zhu Tian bewildered. Master of Combat Hall, do you really intend to let these students challenge me? He queried. Zhang Zhuan retorted with a tone brimming with provocation. Why? Afraid. It seemed that Zhang Zhuan was bent on playing games with Zhu Tian this time around. Despite this, Zhu Tian remained smug, chuckling heartily. You're seeking your own demise. Ha. Huh. Fine, I agree. If you win, I'll grant you ten life returning pills. But if you lose, he, I won't ask for anything from you. Just kneel down before me immediately. Truly, a cunning and malicious teacher. Yet Zhang Zhuan didn't hesitate in the slightest, immediately consenting, all right, as long as you don't go back on your word. Filled with concern, Zhao Ya called out to her teacher, Teacher Zhang. In her heart, the young girl silently pondered, in the past few days, Although our understanding has progressed significantly, combating a teacher is simply impossible. To agree directly is to admit defeat. Before any preparations could be made, Zhu Tian hastily interjected, eager to commence. All right, who's first? Do you all want to challenge me together, or one by one? Contrary to the student's apprehension, Zhang Zhuan appeared exceedingly intrigued, taunting Zhu Tian with amusement. Are you feeling apprehensive? With your caliber, whether it's all at once or one by one, I doubt I'd be able to bear it. I'll send my students to spar with you. Having said that, Zhang Chuan turned to pat Zheng Yang's shoulder and said, Those kids earlier didn't fight, but telling them to challenge Teacher Zhao was a bit over the top. So Zheng Yang, continue your performance. This decision from the teacher left the students beside him speechless, unable to utter a word. Feeling belittled and disregarded, Zhu Tian naturally became furious. You, fine, it's your turn now. Let's see how you'll apologize after you lose in a moment. He seethed. Zheng Yang looked extremely worried as he glanced at his teacher. But sir, I mean there's no need for this cheerful expression now. We can celebrate after defeating teacher Zhou, he said. Poor little Zheng Yang was on the verge of tears. That's right, teacher Zhao. Before we fight, let me teach him a new spear technique. It shouldn't be a problem, haha. <laughs> It's almost time for him to propose. It would be a bit late if he hasn't bought the ring yet. But whether it's late or not doesn't matter. Winning against you is what counts. Come on, teach me a spear technique. Teacher. As he spoke, Zhang Zhuan cheerfully instructed his students, pay attention, learn properly. Having said that, he firmly grasped the staff in his hand and waved it around, leaving Zhen Yang speechless. Zhu Tian couldn't believe Zhang Zhuan would teach in such a manner. Is this considered a spear technique? You've teased your father, teased your mother, but you've never teased a student before. Do you understand? He questioned. Teaching like this, expecting the kid to understand. How could he possibly understand? As a student, Zheng Yang reluctantly responded. Um, yes, I understand. 
I learned this technique when I was five years old, the first technique I ever mastered. But sir, using this technique to win, are you serious? All right, if I understand, then I'll defeat Teacher Ju. As he spoke, Zhang Zhuan cleverly patted Zheng Yang's shoulder to transmit strength. Indeed, everything was within Zhang Zhuan's calculation. Zheng Yang felt the energy surging within him. This is, he heard the words Zhang Xuan intended to convey, resist the force, follow the direction of my key circulation, adjust your breathing. Right now, I'm transmitting to you. This is the internal circulation method of the spear technique. It's far superior to any techniques we've learned before, no matter how ordinary the technique may seem. When combined with this mental method, it becomes extremely powerful. Don't hesitate. Quickly familiarize yourself with the internal circulation method. Then, combine it seamlessly with the spear technique. All right, maintain this flow of ki within your body. Pretend to have no strength. When fighting Teacher Zhou, you must land a single decisive blow. Upon hearing this, Zhen Yang obediently followed his teacher's instructions, looking confidently resolute. I want to confirm again. Do you really want to fight me? With the additional surge of strength, Zheng Yang boldly replied, Teacher Zhao, let's begin. Zhang Chuan, you intended to abandon this student, deliberately making it difficult for me, didn't you? Teaching a technique even a chicken could survive just to deal with me. It's clear that I'm not even worth a chicken in your eyes. Zhang Chuan, you're quite something. This guy doesn't seem to have any issues, but somehow he's able to stir things up. Seeing the teacher's decision, Zhao Ya spoke up. Teacher, let me take Zheng Yang's place. You don't have to worry. Just stand there and watch. Quickly, the two of them assumed fighting stances. I hope Teacher Zhou shows some mercy. Mercy is out of the question. If you want to blame someone, blame your teacher Zhang, set one. Despite Zheng Yang's body being covered in bruises and wounds, he showed fierce determination. So, the student is being impolite. With that, they began to attack. Zhao Tian charged at him, cursing the kid, you idiot. In contrast to the teacher's hurried and somewhat heated actions, Zheng Yang remained calm, lifting his weapon and preparing to unleash his power. When the timing was right, he seized it, saying, Now. With determination, Zheng Yang executed his move decisively. This display of force conjured a golden snake that shot towards Zhu Tan like a missile, catching the cunning teacher off guard. He exclaimed in astonishment, What? And just like that, Zhu Tan was knocked back by the attack. What kind of technique is this? Why doesn't it resemble anything I've seen? He wondered. At that moment, Zhu Tan had been battered and bruised by Zheng Yang's blows, but he still persisted in cursing. Zhang Zhuan, are you playing games with me? The technique was so powerful that it knocked Zhu Tian off the arena. This strike from Teacher Zhao was a significant blow to Zhu Tian. He was sent flying far away and couldn't resist. Consequently, in front of the students, Zhu Tan lay unconscious after Zheng Yang's attack. Teacher Zhou's students were constantly discussing. Teacher Zhao has been defeated. What on earth is going on? Did Teacher Zhou violate the rules just now, unleashing his full power, but still got knocked out as usual? Zhang Xuan was very pleased with the performance of the students, truly worthy of being my students. To achieve this level in such a short time, scoring 70 points in performance and 40 points in technique. Other students were also surprised. Zheng Yang, how did you suddenly become so formidable? Teacher Zhou, you should yield now, sir. Teacher Zhao, earlier you said if we won, you would give us 10 life-giving pills. Can you fulfill that promise now? Zhao Tian was naturally bitter. You, Yi Liu, come get the life-giving pills. Truly, just take them quickly. Yes, yes. I'll go get them right away. Zheng Yang happily took the life-giving pills and boasted to the teacher. Teacher, take a look at these. Hmm. Despite his defeat, Zhu Tan remained stubborn. Humph, Zhang Chuan, even if you give them to me, what's the point? These life-giving pills were obtained through your student's help, which you originally had no right to possess. I doubt you can even drink them. Holding one in his hand, Zhang Chuan appeared quite curious. What are these life-giving pills? Then he turned to his students and said decisively, Is this what you all did, resulting in such a disgraceful appearance? In front of the students and everyone else, Zhang Zhuan promptly crushed the box of life-giving pills. The students froze, their expressions shocked, and he said sprays forgotten. 
Even Ju Tian was no exception. These are ten life-giving pills, valued at over a thousand gold coins, and you just destroyed them like that. No need for astonishment. Although these pills can help with key condensation quickly, excessive consumption will lead to reliance on them, affecting cultivation in the future. Here, I prepared these for you students. After you finish them, I'll continue. It turns out Zhang Zhuan had prepared something even better for his students. These are life-giving pills. Truly, he was the kind of teacher every household wished for. Teacher, you've given us everything. Of course, as my students in the future, you won't need to compete with others for these items from the academy anymore. Wang Yin with damaged meridians. Here's a tonic I found for you. Soak it in water for three consecutive days, and your illness will be cured from the root. Liu Yang with incorrect martial arts training. This circulation pill is obtained from the Master Pill Refiners Guild. Take it diligently for a short period and your previous injuries can also be resolved. This tonic, is it the one from the Master Pill Refiners Guild that you've heard of? Of course, initially when I heard about this, it was said to quickly heal damaged meridians, so I kept an eye on the news. Such a bottle is rumored to cost 300,000 gold coins. 300,000, true or false, Zhang Zhuan. The circulation pill, I heard one pill cost 200,000 gold coins. 200,000. Saying that, with a wave of his hand, it's 500,000. And there are many life-giving pills like this, totaling more than 1 million. He can freely give them to his students. Whoever said Teacher John doesn't accept students, I want to worship him as my teacher. These words were no different than a thousand knives stabbing straight into Ju Tian's heart. At this point, he was completely defeated. Zhang Zhuan, you must have done this intentionally. Fine, go then. Don't waste any more time here. Hurry back for cultivation. With everything settled, all the students, including Zhang Zhuan, had returned to the academy. Zhao Ye said, Teacher, these elixirs are truly precious, conducive to proper cultivation. As long as you win in the teacher evaluation, you can rest assured. We will definitely exert ourselves to the fullest. Yes, we won't disappoint you. Yes, Zhang Yang, come over here for a moment. Teacher, the technique I used earlier, that spear technique was one I recently created. Now I will recite the entire cultivation method for the students to hear. This spear technique, without my permission, should not be spread outside. This, this technique's significance lies in its essence rather than its form. In competitions, it may appear either crude or magnificent. Despite being just one technique, it can defeat many other spear techniques. It's versatile and immensely powerful. Although this spear technique is simple, like the foundation of calligraphy, there are still 10 more days. I hope the students can make breakthroughs and not let down my efforts. Rest assured, teacher. Teacher, do you know the name of this spear technique? Oh, its name. I haven't given it one yet. Perhaps the students can come up with a name for it. Oh, yes. I also have a trip outside planned. Students, continue your cultivation as usual. Don't worry too much. Back at the clan residence, discussions buzzed around. Have you heard? Du Mo Tian has been kneeling at the gate for a whole day. That's right, even though Du Mo Tian failed to compete for the position of clan head, he's still a prominent figure, kneeling at the gate for a whole day. Could it be that the other party is truly a renowned master? If so, we've all been mistaken before. Let's go. Let's go over there and see what's going on. If it's indeed a renowned master, we should quickly get acquainted. Unknown to those present, Summling was secretly observing from the sidelines. Indeed, it's Du Mo Tian. This name has always been extremely cautious, capable of making him willingly kneel down. Someone in this clan must be able to help him solve his problem and make him feel respect and admiration. After a whole day, the door finally opened. Sun Kong stepped out and invited Du Mo Tian's father and son inside, saying, Gentlemen, our patriarch instructed you to come in. Thank you, Mr. Sun, for conveying the message. Please come in. Once Du Mo Tian enters, observe closely. As soon as he comes out, you'll know if I have eyes but fail to see the true extent of the mountain. I hope the esteemed master can forgive any offense. And please, save me. It's unknown what issue compelled Du Mo Tian to the point of life and death, requiring Zhang Zhuan's assistance to such an extent. If I let you in, naturally, I will intervene to save you. Do you know why I said you were a beast before? Remember, ten years ago, everyone knew you were ill, facing difficulties in cultivation. But if I'm not mistaken, it's because you incorporated the blood of wild beasts into your body 
attempting to change your blood. Doing so led to your body being poisoned by the essence of the wild beasts. Every day at noon, white hair grows all over your body, turning you into neither man nor beast, resembling a beast. Am I correct? So this was the secret Du Mo Chan had always kept hidden. Yes, master, you are absolutely right. Du Yuan stood beside, looking at his father with incredulity. This, he thought, could it be because of this that he developed the habit of drinking tea at noon, avoiding meeting anyone? When Master mentioned the beastly origin, not only did my father not refute it, but he also knelt directly outside the door. Zhang Zhuan continued, The blood dragon beast is a seven-tiered demonic beast, with strength equivalent to a seventh heaven transcendent realm cultivator. Its entire body is covered in white fur, as swift as the wind. Its blood essence is one of the main ingredients used to create the transcendent mortal pill, which has the effect of clearing meridians and enhancing cultivation. Those who replace their blood with the blood dragon beast blood must have read some secret manual and misunderstood that succeeding in doing so would increase their cultivation, right? Yes, back then, I was young and inexperienced, unable to distinguish truth from falsehood. I hope Master could save me. Unable to discern the true from the false, the manual you obtained must have been genuine. Is that so? It couldn't be. If it were true, why would I end up like this? Although the manual might be genuine, the most crucial aspect has been destroyed by someone else, rendering it incomplete and leading to the current state of affairs. All right, now take off your robe and I will perform acupuncture for you to help resolve the latent illness within your body. Having spoken, Du Mo Tian immediately took off his shirt. Zhang Zhuan quietly pondered. Du Mo Tan's condition is somewhat similar to that of Ling Tianyu's wife, which is a blockage in the meridians, causing the snow wolf's blood to not function properly. It requires resolving the congested areas. Subsequently, Zhang Zhuan swiftly threw his needles towards Du Mo Tian. This technique was rather peculiar, requiring no close proximity but standing from a considerable distance. The placement of these needles was directly on the front of Du Mo Tan's body. After Du Mo Tian and his son left, there came a call. Elder Du. Oh, great master La, how are you, great master La? This disciple. Is it this place? The resonance of the esteemed master. Esteemed master, truly esteemed. Indeed, the esteemed master is a person of great prestige. If great master La encounters any unresolved issues, one may seek guidance, but the esteemed master's visit to Tan Xuan City is for leisure, not to be disturbed by others. In truth, there is no need for sadness. As the esteemed master has just said, regardless of who seeks to resolve their issues, they must pay three million gold coins up front. Whether the issue is resolved or not, the money will not be refunded. The esteemed master's requirement is quite reasonable. If everyone were to come seeking guidance, there would be no time for rest, and one would be too occupied. That's right, it's very well said. Many thanks for informing me. Since it's convenient, I have a matter to seek guidance on. I'll go now. After finishing his words, the scene shifted to inside Zhang Zhuan's residence. La Dai Su stepped in and expressed, I, La Song, respectfully greet Master. I heard from Sun Tong that you are an artifact refiner. Have you encountered any problems that you cannot solve? Master, for some reason, I have been failing in my recent attempts to refine weaponry and haven't been able to find the cause. I hope to receive some guidance from you. Please take a look at the weaponry I've been refining recently. This sword is just a product, without any techniques. If this hasn't been successfully refined, let's see if there are any flaws in it. Oh, this name, I hope Master can enlighten me. If you want my guidance, you don't need to deliberately humiliate me like this. After all, I am the president of the Artifact Refiner Association, with a prestigious status. Speaking like this implies that I'm overindulgent, doesn't it? Sun Kenong thought to himself, Old Master, although the person speaks a bit bluntly, they came seeking guidance because their weapon refinement wasn't successful. But then, they immediately accused them of overindulgence, which seems a bit much. Besides, what does eating dragon shrimp have to do with weapon refinement? No need to deny it. Let me ask you now, have you been eating dragon shrimp every day recently? That's right, I have been eating dragon shrimp. But what does that have to do with anything? Well, yes, dragon shrimp usually reproduce at the end of the autumn season, which is now. Master, how does this relate to my inability to refine weapons? Whether dragon shrimp reproduce or not, what does it have to do with me? 
It's not like they're my children. Just because you can't refine weapons successfully, does that have to do with this? After finishing speaking, Zhang Zhuan explained, Dragon shrimp thrive in cold climates and have a cooling nature. Eating them excessively will deplete yang energy. While it may not have a significant impact on humans, it's different for newly spawned shrimp. This type of shrimp passes down all of its essence to future generations, making them extremely fragile. Moreover, they produce a substance in their bodies that numbs the human spirit. Consuming too much will cloud the mind. Do you feel that you're unable to enter the second heaven realm, with your mind as turbulent as water? Not only that, but you're also extremely irritable, causing severe damage to your cultivation level, making it impossible to succeed. Recently, you found it difficult to focus your spirit when refining weapons. Couldn't it be because you've been eating too many dragon shrimp? Of course, all creatures have their own ways of self-preservation, and dragon shrimp are no exception. Just after giving birth, at their weakest moment, they produce this substance to protect their lives. As a result, they eventually become prey. I was mistaken. From now on, I won't eat dragon shrimp anymore. I hope the master can give me some guidance. What should I do now? Upon hearing this question, Zhang Zhuan's face suddenly changed color. Heavens, how would I know what to do? The Heavenly Way bookstore only records the causes of these defects. It doesn't provide solutions. La Song's situation contrasts with previous incidents. There are no issues with the body, only overeating dragon shrimp. If you continue this way, just release the dragon shrimp you've caught, and we'll have to see about your future actions for a solution. However, simply stopping consumption for a while should suffice for recovery. Many thanks for the guidance. Just by examining the weapon I've refined once, you can find the root cause. The reason I couldn't refine weapons successfully was due to overeating. Truly living up to your reputation as a master, with your extraordinary insight of three million. Could the master also guide me in refining weapons? How do I refine weapons? Zhang Zhuan's gaze made La Song feel fearful. It's because I've been too pushy. Sun Kong, see the guest out. Yes, La Master, my father needs to rest now. Please excuse us. Another guest departed. Zhang Zhuan finally lay down to rest, murmuring to himself, Impersonating a master isn't as easy as it seems. Great masters are knowledgeable in many fields and possess unimaginable insights. Right now, I'm only relying on the Heavenly Way bookstore to maintain this facade. Once it becomes inaccessible, I'll surely be exposed by others. I truly wonder how those masters manage to acquire such vast knowledge. Human mental energy is limited. I only participated in one master pill refiner competition and realized how vast its knowledge is. Regardless, I must diligently read books in the future. The Heavenly Way bookstore is just an external tool after all. Ha! Huh. What's this? I'd never seen this book before. This golden book. As he pondered, Zhang Zhuan flipped through the pages. This book has no text, just pure white pages. Set it aside. Focus on other materials for now. As soon as he finished speaking, the book in his hand opened on its own, emitting a strange light. The book flew up into the air, and golden words poured out, shining brightly. This book seems to be gathering the essence of other books. Then the book abruptly closed, its golden light fading. Something doesn't seem right. Zhang Zhuan's expression suddenly turned panicked. Oh, the light from the book shone directly onto Zhang Zhuan. No one knew what had happened. In reality, two subordinates were discussing. I heard that the elder, classification of pills, was seen with someone before, then realized he didn't have much time left. Lately, he's been feeling tired, so he's made arrangements for his affairs. That's right. If the elder is gone, our Chang clan will surely be eyed by other clans. I heard they're preparing to sell off all their assets, leave the city, and never return. Inside, the elder had just written something. All right, from now on, everyone must adhere to this rule. No one is allowed to have any objections. Otherwise, they will be expelled from the clan. Outside, the servants were all crying. The elder continued, All right, what's the use of crying? Just go and get your work done. The elder's son stood behind, also speaking up, Father, what's going on? Father, there's a renowned master in the city who might be able to help you. Is it just a baseless rumor? I'm not sure. I heard about it yesterday and sent someone to investigate. This person's name is Yang Zhuan. Not only did he cure Ling Tianyu's wife, but even Elder Du knelt before him at the gate. 
Moreover, within less than ten minutes of Elder Du's entry, he advanced from the peak of the profound realm to the transcendent realm expert. What's more, the head of the Artifact Refiner Association, La Song, paid him a visit, and when he left, he couldn't stop praising him, saying he's truly a master. Wherever this master is, let's go find him. As for selling off our assets, what does it matter? What's more important, our assets, or your life? Let's hurry up a bit. The scene shifts to a corner in the city. Why were they causing a commotion in the city earlier? Has anything significant happened these past few days? This is old Kao J, a servant, reporting. Old Khan Ji, in the past 10 days, there have been 17 one-star incidents, 12 two-star incidents, and three three-star incidents. Are these incidents problematic? There's no problem, just, for the past two days, there's been an issue. A commoner couldn't decide their rank, and that was what we were discussing earlier. Oh, let me tell you, three days ago, someone named Yang Zuan appeared in the city, claiming to be a master who cured Ling Tian Yu's wife. Oh, I've heard about this, and I even went to check at the association, but his name wasn't in the records. It's probably just a trick created by Ling Tian Yu. No need to worry, let's just categorize it as a one-star incident. A one-star incident might not be that simple. If it were just curing Ling Tian Yu's wife's illness, one star would be sufficient. But yesterday, Elder Du No Tian of the Du family knelt at the gate for a night, and after about ten minutes when he left, he had broken through from the Fifth Heaven Martial Sage to the peak of the Transcendent Realm. With Elder Du's increase in strength, if that's the case, it might be classified as a two-star incident, the servant added. But yesterday evening, even Master La Song, the head of the Key Cultivation Association, went there, after leaving, with a happy expression and constant praises. He affirmed that this person is indeed a true master. If La Song, with his discernment, deems Yang Zuan to be a genuine master, then this incident should be classified as three stars. However, this morning, Master Ao Yang, the head of the Master Pill Refiner Association, and Pill Master Chen Chao also went there, but they were stopped by the butler outside and not allowed to enter. Not only did they not enter, but they also didn't voice any complaints. So this escalates to four stars, not five. Hurry and document this. We must report it to His Majesty promptly. It's five stars, no need to confirm again. Those individuals have already confirmed it. What more confirmation do we need? In the future, when such incidents occur, report them promptly. Don't waste time. Even Master La Song praised him endlessly. It seems we've all misjudged. This Yang Zuan is indeed a true master. Quickly prepare the visiting cards. We must pay him a visit. What's that? Can't meet anyone. You have to deposit three million beforehand to meet the master, and it won't be refunded. This approach is correct. Everyone wants to meet the master. If everyone could meet him, the master wouldn't have time for anything else in a day. This can prevent some people with ulterior motives. Over here, Yang Zuan finally regained consciousness. Was I struck unconscious by lightning? Can lightning from the Heavenly Way bookstore really knock someone out? Seems like the power of that strike wasn't insignificant. Could it be that in the future, we'll really have to resort to throwing books at each other? Yang Zuan touched his forehead in astonishment. This, how come there's so much knowledge in my head? Where did that yellow book go? Has it vanished? Perhaps he had fused and become one with Zhang Zuan now. Could it be that the yellow book can transfer knowledge from the Heavenly Way bookstore into my head? Huh, I was unconscious the whole night. Just waking up, yet he was already pondering. To be unconscious the whole night, to be unconscious the whole night, I'm starving. Upon seeing him, Sun Kyung immediately reported, Elder, he's awake. The head of the Master Pill Refiner Association and Pill Master Chen Chao are here to pay their respects. Curious, he asked. Aoyang Cheng, Chen Chao Pillmaster. Sun replied, Yes, and they've been waiting outside for two hours. Elder, Chen Chao Pillmaster has deposited three million. Would you like to see? In his mind, he wondered, Why are they here? But verbally, he instructed, Let them in. Sun complied, Yes. The conversation grew louder. What? These two master pill refiners couldn't even stay for five minutes. Could it be the issue hasn't been resolved? Investigate thoroughly. They're both respected pill refiners. Yet they encounter a problem and need to consult a master. 
You said Chen Chao Pill Master had arranged a funeral, even prepared a will intending to sell off all his assets. Yet after meeting the master, he immediately changed his mourning clothes to red, celebrating as if nothing had happened. Elsewhere, Wang Yin was conversing with Zhang Zhuan. She informed, Master, Miss Wang Yu is looking for you, waiting in the study. Perplexed, he inquired, What can she want with me? With her stunning appearance, captivating the attention of other young men, Zhao Ye felt envious thoughts brewing within her. This lady is no less than Wang Yin. Normally, when we go to study, many people sneak glances at us. Feeling a bit uncomfortable herself, she pondered, perhaps it would be better if I wait outside. He gently asked, what does Miss Wong want with me? She straightforwardly replied, well, Master Lu invites you over for a visit. Suddenly, he exclaimed with excitement, could it be that he wants to take me to the Royal Library? She replied hesitantly, oh no, it's not that. Master Lu wants to assess both me and Bai Sun. He intends to invite you as an examiner. He shattered his illusion. Examiner. She further explained to him. That's right. Master Lu knows that you have delved deeply into calligraphy and could provide the most accurate assessment, so he wants to invite you. He pondered. Even though I don't know how to hold a paintbrush, let alone provide the most accurate assessment, Master Lu seems to value me highly. However, since I've already accepted the invitation, and with the hope of relying on the other party to enter the scroll repository of the city, combined with Wang Yu's assistance in the academic test, it seems I can't refuse this opportunity. After a moment of pondering, he relented. All right, you can count on me to blabber on about anything, anytime. She responded. I did say it was supposed to start at noon today, but you hadn't returned until now. Anyway, if we go now, we should still make it in time. He asked again, this afternoon. She confirmed, yes. He promptly said, all right, wait for me while I go give the students some instructions. As they walked together, he inquired, I know that calligraphy is very difficult, so the exam won't be easy, right? She replied, the exam was devised by Master Lu and Master Yuan Yu. Neither Bai Sun nor I know anything about it, and we're not sure about the specifics of the exam either. Upon hearing that name, he immediately thought, Master Yuan Yu. He's a renowned physician throughout the city. What does he have to do with calligraphy? Huang Yu explained. Master Yuan Yu, besides being a great physician, has made significant contributions to calligraphy as well. Even Master Lu always praises him endlessly. His paintings vividly depict landscapes, with rivers flowing realistically and birds chirping as if they were there. He marveled. So, Master Yuan Yu is quite formidable a painting that can lure birds in speaks volumes about his skill. Even if he's not on par with Master Lu, he's certainly not inferior. She continued. Master Lu also invited him, saying that three judges would be fair. He replied, that's great then. But inwardly, he sighed with relief, thinking, if there are already two true masters, then I'll just join in to make up the numbers. When the time comes, everything will fall into place. As they arrived, someone asked, Master Zhang, Miss Wang, why have you two just arrived now? He explained, I had to step out, so Miss Wang had to wait a bit. The person responded, Master Yuan Yu said he had to pay a visit to someone in the afternoon, so we couldn't wait any longer. Please come in. As he entered, they exclaimed, Master Zhang, you're here. Zhang Chuan, you finally arrived, little junior brother. He greeted him back, Master Lu Chen. The elder then said to him, Allow me to introduce, this is Master Yuan Yu, also my close friend, a master calligrapher. Yuan Yu, this is the little junior brother Zhang Zhuan I told you about. Although young, his knowledge of calligraphy is no less than ours. He modestly responded, Master's praise is too much, I'm just studying casually. Master Yuan Yu looked at him and said, Knowledge knows no age, and those with expertise are all masters. You can discern the elegance and grandeur of Lu Chen's brushwork, and your analytical ability is commendable. Such skills are not common in the young. Lu Chen interjected, All right, if we're all here, let's begin. Yes, there's only one piece of art on display, so there must be a competition. Firstly, I don't want to gift a painting to someone who doesn't understand calligraphy. Secondly, I want to test both of you. However, since your exposure to calligraphy has been limited, asking you to paint wouldn't be effective. So I discussed with Master Yuan Yu and came up with a solution. 
Yu and Yu continued. Indeed, Zhang Zhuan, and I will be the ones painting. You all will critique, and the most accurate critique will determine the rightful owner of the artwork. As he listened, he froze, thinking he misheard. What? Then he exclaimed. Painting? I'm completely clueless. Is this a test for me or for them? I don't even know how to hold a paintbrush, let alone what to paint. He turned to them and said, Honored gentlemen, I think I can do without painting. Master Lu replied, Friendship is fostered through literature. Many literary societies form friendships through poetry. It's rare to have brother you and you here. So let's also engage in painting to broaden this young one's horizons. Perhaps they'll develop a genuine interest in calligraphy. They might even become the next generation of masters. In his mind, he thought, are they taking me seriously? What I meant was, I don't want to participate in calligraphy at all, nor do I want to paint or engage in artistic exchange. So he smiled at them and said, there's really no need. You too can handle the painting. I didn't bring anything with me today. Master Lu said, I've already prepared ink, brushes, and paper. Young friend, you don't need to worry too much. Just treat this place as your own home and paint as you wish to broaden your horizons. He felt like a volcano about to erupt, worrying, they're not paying attention to what I'm saying. 